Hi friends! So in today's video, I am going to be doing yet another closet declutter. <laughs> this last year, I've worked really hard on going through my closet and going through really all my stuff and making sure that what I have is intentional and practical and really fits my needs. I used to not even be able to fit all my clothes in my closet. I had so much stuff and I don't really have a big closet. I just have this one doorway and I have like a linen closet that I put some things in as well. So I used to not even be able to fit everything in here. I would have to have this huge load of dirty laundry outside of my closet just to be able to have a place to put the clothes which is ridiculous. So that was my goal is I wanted to pare down everything so I could at least fit everything comfortably in my closet. And I did that earlier this year. And since then I have had so much better luck with staying ahead of my laundry and staying ahead of keeping my room clean. It is so much easier to have a neat and tidy room when all of my clothes fit in my closet effortlessly. So that has been a huge win, but I want to challenge myself even more to pare down even more and really make more of a simple, more minimal wardrobe that is so easy to know exactly what I want to wear and what is exactly my options and where they are and just make it really easy and effortless. I made a Pinterest board that is kind of my vision for what I'm wanting my style to be in the next season of my life. I wanted it to be really simple and practical and more neutrals and clothing that is comfortable and better quality and fits my needs more. I made the decision a couple months ago. I did like a, a capsule wardrobe sort of video where I wanted to just pick out a capsule wardrobe for like, I think it was like a month and a half or something like that to just wear those pieces of clothing. And it was amazing to me to see how much more cutthroat I could be knowing like if I could only choose 50 items or whatever it is, what are the 50 items that I would choose? And it was so much easier to be more cutthroat with what I have. So. I also decided in that video that I am going to just wear scrubs to work. I am a massage therapist and so over the years I've been able to kind of wear either scrubs or more normal clothes to work as long as I looked nice and put together. But I just decided that that was one of the big reasons why my wardrobe was so overstuffed and overwhelming and confusing because I had clothes that I would wear on my days off, clothes that I would wear to church, clothes that I would wear to work that were nice, and then also clothes that I would wear that were scrubs to work, and it was just too many options. <laughs> so I decided that I wanna do just scrubs to work for a while, a year or so, and see how that feels. And I've been doing that for the past month and a half, and it has made my closet so much simpler and made getting dressed and getting ready in the morning for work so much easier and I have loved making that decision. So since I've kind of committed to that, it's made it a lot easier for me to know what clothes I actually need on my days off. I do a lot of gardening, I work outside, I hang out with my friends, I go to church, I still want to feel fashionable and like I somewhat fit in to a style, but I don't want them to be trendy pieces that are gonna be out of season in six months. In the past, I have done a couple different styles of decluttering where I've either taken every article of clothing and put it on my bed, kind of more Marie Kondo style, and gone through piece by piece and you know, ask myself what sparks joy, what do I feel comfortable in, what do I feel like myself in, and that worked great. And then I've also done section by section, so I'll take all my camis out, set them on the bed, go through the camis, go through my t-shirts, go through my jeans, kind of more uh, focused decluttering. 
and that's worked great too but I'm gonna try a totally different style this time I noticed that as I was going through my capsule wardrobe video I it just gave me this extra layer layer of clarity and cutthroat focus of okay this is the pair of jeans that I actually like better than all the rest this is the t-shirt that I actually feel physically comfortable in better than the rest so I think I'm gonna try and do it that way I think I'm gonna try and just curate a bigger capsule wardrobe and kind of create my entire wardrobe based off of the Pinterest board that I made and then maybe just cut out the rest or be more cutthroat with the excess that's left. So that's kind of my plan. I am just gonna jump in and get started. So I figured I would show you what we're working with here. I have all my boots up there. I have absolutely no organization to my closet right now. It is kind of ridiculous because when I did my capsule wardrobe, I put all of it right here. And so I had to like move a bunch of stuff out of that area and mix and match things. And I, it's just all a complete disaster. There is no organization to this at all right now because of that capsule wardrobe video. And then here are my shoes that I have. All my shoes are right here, some slippers. And I also have this closet too of stuff. Um, all my bras and bralettes and stuff, socks, underwear, and jeans. This is the most tidy my closet has ever been. Let me give you a little tour. Okay, so here is all of my shoes. They're all shoes that I use and that I need. I even have a couple open spots on the bottom. This used to all be boots up here and I took those down. I just have one pair of tall boots here. These are my leggings and loungewear and pajamas. These are my jeans up there. And then I have my lighter weight stuff over here, like tank tops and spaghetti straps, things like that, camis, uh, plain tank tops here, or excuse me, plain t-shirts here. And then I have more of like blouses and button ups, uh, more, I guess, like cuter sort of dressy stuff and then I have some heavier stuff here like some sweaters but I would still wear them as like a shirt I would wear something underneath something like this but it's still like long sleeve shirt and then I have all my dresses over here I've got quite a few dresses probably like 10 or so and then I have all my scrubs right here and all of the pants. I have like two different pairs of scrub pants that are in that section with my scrub tops. And then I have um, two sweatshirts and oh, three sweatshirts. I have this one too, which I might not keep this one, but I'm going to hold on to it for right now just in case. And then I have sweaters here and over like button up shirts that would go over shirts right here and then I have some pair of paint clothes like work clothes and then I have underwear there um, bras there socks I have white socks black, black socks and thicker 
like cozy wool socks right there. And then I have three pairs of shorts here that are like my summer clothes. And then, oh guys, you have to look at this. Oh my gosh. Holy cow, she's empty. Oh my goodness gracious. This used to be stuffed. This used to be stuffed. And now I'm just gonna take this stuff out and I'm gonna give it a good wipe down. And I'm gonna get rid of this shelf. Or maybe I can try and put it somewhere else. But this is another one of those things where I've had it in my pantry, I've had it in my bathroom, I've had it in my closet, and it's just not really very useful. So we'll see. Um, I'll grab all those freaking hangers. <laughs> um, but oh my gosh, can you imagine? What am I even gonna put here? I don't even have anything to put here. I'm gonna have to figure that out. <laughs> So I just took over all four bags of all my clothing to my neighbor and she was so excited. She told me that she hadn't bought new clothes for herself in six years. And not that any of these clothes are new clothes, but she was so excited just to have more options and a lot of the clothes that I was giving away are still in really good shape and they still have a lot of life to them and they're not super old so it was just a really good reminder to see how like people on your street like they could get so excited about it and like I wasn't using those clothes I wasn't using that stuff so why wouldn't I share it with her if it makes her feel so excited and if it makes her day and makes our friendship stronger like why wouldn't I do that and it just makes it so much easier for me to want to give away the excess of what I don't use and what I don't need because she does and it's making her really happy so I thought I would share that with you and um yeah I just thought that, that was really cool Hi friends. So going through my closet is going so well so far. I got rid of so much stuff. I got rid of four big garbage bags of stuff and I am going to have some friends look through it and then I'm going to donate the rest. And it was interesting. I just had counseling and I was telling my counselor about how I was feeling the other day. In my last video, I kind of talked about it a little bit about feeling guilty and spoiled because I had excess and feeling shame about having stuff and needing to get rid of things and and being blessed and it was so interesting he really brought up an interesting point with that that it's good I need to be thankful and I need to be grateful for what I have and that the more I minimize my space and the more I go through the things that I have the more I want to give and the more I want to be generous and the more that I just want more space in my life and and it but it's interesting he kind of brought up the fact that I think sometimes in this world we it's easy to forget that those blessings, having more stuff, or the fact that I have a supportive family that loves me and cares for me and gives me support when I need support, the fact that I have a good job and I've never struggled to get a good job, and the fact that I have a roof over my head and that I'm warm, and those are all blessings that they're easier maybe for me than they are for other people and my counselor brought up a really interesting point that regardless of if it's easier for me to obtain those things and that stuff that stuff is still not going to solve my problems it's nice to have comforts it's nice to have extra clothes and and not have to worry about that but still at the end of the day 
that stuff and those physical items are not going to be what gives me purpose. It's not going to be what gives me meaning, what gives me identity. And that is why I have started this whole process is I want to find identity. I want to find purpose. I want to know who God is. I want to make room in my life to be able to experience him, be creative. And I don't want to have the distraction of stuff and clothing and a bunch of extra stuff. And it's funny because I, I've really gotten into minimalism this last year and I notice, I've noticed a trend in the minimalism world where people start getting rid of their stuff and items and, but then they almost kind of adopt this mindset of, oh, I only have one of these things. I, I really live like no one else. I'm special. I, you know, and that is just a different kind of mask. That is just a different kind of false identity that is going to distract you from your real purpose and your real relationship with who you are and who you are in God. And it's so easy to take off one mask and just put on another mask. And I don't want to do that. I want to just continue to take off the different masks in my life. And I want to really know who God made me to be. And whether that's taking off the mask of all of these clothes and things and stuff and junk that I just don't want anymore, that I just don't need in my life, that I just don't want, or if it's the identity of, oh, I'm a trendy minimalist and I, you know, don't need all this stuff. I'm above it. Like, I don't want to put that mask on either. That's stupid. I want to be free. And in order to be free, you have to be intentional because it's so easy just to put on a different mask. So that is all for today's video. I am so thankful that you guys tuned in. I'm going to be continuing to declutter and go through things and simplify my life. And I made a whole series and I'm going to continue to make a series on decluttering and minimizing my life. So I hope that you guys watch that playlist. It's linked down below. I love you all and I will see you in my next video.